We're going to St. Anne and Bourbon Street for a, I don't know, seizure or something. Probably a drunk, but maybe a seizure. What a drunk, man. A seizure. Point nine, I'm in the area looking. My name is Keely Williams. I've been a sprint medic since probably a couple months before Katrina. A sprint unit is just a quick response vehicle. So they usually, I'm gonna be the first one to respond and I'll start taking care of the patient and do whatever needs to be done. It's gonna be a fun night. Bourbon Street is crowded. Oh, there's Ashley. She is world famous. In all her glory, she is out there with her whistle and when there's an emergency vehicle, she will literally make people stop. And don't run in front of you if she's stopping you, because you will get a little smack. You know, it'd be 1022 if I don't He's got a history of seizures. Yeah, yeah. I know him. Hey, I see you looking. What's going on? Because you're not having a seizure. No, you're not. There she is. She out here directing traffic. No, we ain't going that way. We're going to go straight. We'll go straight. We'll pop yeah. right up. All right, we got it. Hey, look, we need you to clear. Just make sure they clear. So I'm going to take the stretcher right over, all right? You know Charles? No. We pick him up all the time, every day, sometimes twice a day. Fantastic. He drinks in order to control his seizures. Come on, Charles. Nice to see you, my man. Whoa, whoa. Been drinking much, my man? Hey. A lot. Is that your bear? Yes, I want my bear. I want my sign, too. Right. Bear. Come on, kick yourself back, man. Throw your feet up. Hey, we're gonna put the sign on top of you, man. Come on. Pull your sign. Hey. Back up for me, please. <laughs> Gotta love mounted patrol, my man. Got to love it. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Ashley. Charles, where you from, man? You're you from West Virginia. What made you come down to New Orleans? I brought somebody home after the storm. Okay. So, now I say, give me 200 bucks, and I'll take you home. Back. <sighs> All right, Charles. They're going to get you rolling? I'll probably see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll probably. Yeah. They're going to bring you back to Tulane. Call you, girl. never know what you're going to come across on Night Watch, especially in New Orleans. 14 years, and it still surprises me. It makes me laugh. You got to have fun when you can. Uh, they twerking on the bus up there. I don't, I don't, that's like a booty drop. That's not really twerking. I believe they call that booty dropping. in a minivan was a schizophrenic patient hey, hey, hey. Hey. and had stolen his mother's car. I don't know what's going to come out of that van if he's going to get out with a weapon. So I knew I just need to get all these kids back on this bus. There's something wrong with him. There's something wrong with him. The guy in a minivan was a schizophrenic patient and had stolen his mother's car. And uh, the brother had been chasing him throughout the city trying to get him to stop. He done stole that car. I'm serious, y'all. I don't know what's going to come out of that van, or if he's going to just start driving around, if he's going to get out with a weapon. Get on the bus! Get on the bus! So I knew I just need to get all these kids back on this bus. All right, the guy that got out the uh, stolen vehicle, black male, he's got a black Saints jacket on, shorts. I think he just went into the Holiday Inn. He just ran out the house, 
he's mentally he's manic, so he was supposed to take medication. Right. All right, family members telling me he's manic and uh, is having an episode, medicine. doesn't take his uh, medicine, so they, they definitely need an NOPD over here quick. Hey, guys, we waiting on NOPD. He's a psych patient and gets very violent, so y'all need to stay away from him. Do not get him riled up. I, I don't know if he actually does have weapons, and he was a big guy. I think he's gonna ram you, baby. I mean, that's your brother, but I, I think he's gonna ram that car. I'm moving mine. Watch out, watch out. Watch out, baby. 49, can you let NOPD know that he's leaving in a stolen vehicle? It's a white minivan. We got two lane police on scene um, trying to trying to stop him. All right, they at the corner of South Rampart and Perdido right now, 49. He just had the doors locked and was just sitting there and wasn't responding to anybody. And you could see his mom was definitely somewhere else. That's his brother in a red shirt. Okay. State police arrived and they got a Slim Jim and unlocked the van. Watch his neck, yeah. He didn't fight with us. Uh, we had a unit that was going to transport him over to University Hospital for psych care. I'm going to give you a ride over to the hospital, OK? Your mom is going to meet you over there. I mean, it started out fun because of the twerking and the kids and everything, and then it just got serious real quick. All right. But the ending was really sad, and I just feel bad for the family having to deal with that person that is mentally unstable. Canal Street, man down. I'm starting to get hoarse, man. Damn. Why are you getting hoarse? I don't know. It's that night air getting you. Maybe you'll have like a, uh, a sexy Morgan Freeman voice if you keep getting raspy. Morgan kind of smooth with it, though. Yeah, he got, he definitely got it. I'm more of a Teddy Pentagrass oh. myself. <laughs> Dan, I received a call from a man down. It's on Canal Street, so you know we're thinking it could just be you know Signal 19, which is you know a drop pretty much. What's going on? I have no more time to breathe. And all the time, to look at it over and say, no more chest. All right. Come on, Chief, you ready? We're going to help you up. Come on, we can get out. All right, baby. Come on, what do you call himself? Craw Daddy? Come on, Craw Daddy. All right, now what's going on with you? I've got COPD, emphysema, and that He's telling us he has a history of COPD, which is very serious. But he's speaking full sentence. He's not having any type of distress. So we know at this time, you know, the emphysema is not acting up with him. Why do they call you Crawdaddy? You want to know what? I didn't ask for no reason. All right, look here. My grandpapa was throwing a cast in it. Catching three or four crawl at a time. All right. Let me tell you what Crawdaddy is. I punch holes in a five-gallon bucket and jump in the bayou. You did that? Come up for the whole five-gallon bucket of coffee. Come he on. said, you are the crawdad. You are the crawdad. You are officially not a crawdad. What you been drinking, man? We make corn whiskey. How you make corn whiskey? Let's get on wine tree. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have no idea what he just said, D. <laughs> <laughs> all right, listen. I know you. Yes, sir. I know you're having a great time and all. Hey, Relax. I'm having a wonderful time, but I'm hurting for my God. This man right here. I want. Listen. <laughs> I'm listening, sir. I need you to stop laughing so I can listen right, to you your love. All right, let's try to get it together here, Crawdaddy. Daddy. You ready? I'm gonna keep this, keep this on straight. All right, okay. right serious phases now. You ready? Go. Good job. All right, nice deep breath. Well, he's from down the road in the bayou. He sound pretty good. You know, he's telling funny stories. He's like, it's one of them dudes I can sit down, have a drink with, and just talk to him all day. That was your that was your lady outside? That was your yeah. woman? What's her name? Crawl woman? Yeah. Crawl mama? Crawl dead. Crawdette. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, let me keep the keep this on straight. Get yeah, up my pressure. We ain't never getting a blood pressure. Nah. My man crawled that. <laughs> so this was my favorite part of high school. Yeah. It was marching and the parade. One in the band, I don't know. 
And that was a cheerleader. Yes! 32. 32. Stop delivering now. Stand member down. Nick and I are standing up watching one of the parades outside of the truck, and we get a call for one of the band members that is now down. Where is the? It's going to be South Liberty Canal, 3023. Oh, that's right. And location is now this 19th floor. Been We're going to have to bring the stretcher across the parade route. I don't know. When you're in a marching band during Mardi Gras, you are marching several miles every day. So it can be a dangerous situation for somebody who may have a pre-existing medical condition. Look, yeah, they are. 32, 32 on scene. 17 year old lines. We're marching. Just go straight down. How you feeling? Not too good, huh? When somebody passes out, you want to rule out the most life-threatening emergency that you can get. So first off, see if they can wake up. See what their speech pattern is. Make sure it's not neurological. Get some vital signs. See what's going on with their body so you can kind of plan a course of action to help this person. Nick, are we crossing the route? The challenges of, you know, actually picking someone up on the parade route is your crowd. It's like being in the middle of a riot. You have to stay focused, keep yourself and your patients safe, and be able to get them into your truck without, you know, any further harm. So we crossing the route or what? I don't know how old she is. 17. 17? Yeah, she can go to two lanes. Hey, how are you feeling? Can we have that guy? Give us just a minute, all right? Can you tell me your name? Gabby? Are you hurting anywhere? No? You were marching in the parade? Yeah? You will be all right, sweetie. So did you see what happened? But the kids, they said that she didn't show any signs, anything, she just hit the ground. Any possibility you could be pregnant, sweetie? No? OK. There's always a little bit of relief when their eyes are open and they're speaking. You know, this, this person looks OK right now. So, you know, they're not dead. And that's a great thing. Um, I can work with that. I think you dehydrated is what happened. Probably from, you know, wearing the jumpsuit and everything, being hot. What's she say? What's she say? You missed it? Talking about the parade? The so end? I, I That's what you said? Actually, of the parade? Uh, Aw. Yeah, Are you a senior? Oh, like boo. Feeling any better? She's upset because she's missing the end of the parade. <coughs> she's a senior. You know, our hearts go out to Gabby because she works so hard for this and her experience got stolen from her from a medical issue. 32, 32 at 2 late. We're going to, uh, man, we got a man down at 800 Canal. Yeah, it's that bleeding from the head. Actually, that's all it says. Male down, bleeding from the head. Fall, or you think somebody's knocked? I'm going to say a fall and that's closely related to a state of intoxication. It ain't always got to be drunk like this. Yeah. Dan and I, we arrived from the scene, and um, we find this gentleman. He's laying on the ground in a pool of blood. Hello, sir. Hi. What happened? There was several people out here. OK. That are ignorant. OK. And nasty. OK. And I got beat like this. They were the most evil. All right. Well, listen. My, my head's cut. Right. Did they hit you with a fist or an object? They drew me down on the ground. OK, so you hit your head on the sidewalk. Yes, sir. OK. Did you lose consciousness? No. 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 OK, great. We want you just to calm down, and we're going to put you on the board, and then we're going to put you on the us okay. We have you. Don't even worry about it. We're going to leave you now, sir. Ma'am, can you back up for one yeah. moment, please? Thank you for okay, everything. Ma'am, 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 back up. Fine. Where are you from? Um, Chicago? From Chicago. Right? All right, my dad is from Chicago. <laughs> it's gonna be it's gonna be all right. Do you have family down here or are you by yourself? He was uh he was jumped. This guy may have a concussion. He can have swelling in a in the brain, like he can have a subdor, he patoma, like anything could be going on. I mean blood is everywhere. We're gonna take real good care of you, all right? On three, one, two, three. It's a head injury, you know. We don't we don't carry X-ray machines in the truck, so definitely need to get this guy to the hospital. How much have you had to drink today? A lot. <laughs> a lot, you said? <laughs> All right. Two six packs. Two six packs. We normally get the one beer answer. I'm, I'm drinking right here. 
I picked up on that, and I appreciate that. 3220, we ain't got to university. The violence in New Orleans is not organized. Our violence is street thug level type thing. We don't really have gangs like you see in other big cities. That's why we have so much random violence throughout different areas, because there's no loyalty. There's no, no respect for, for human life. There's no nothing. So you said you was from Chicago? Yeah. What brought you down here? Uh, the BP cleaned up. And then what happened? You ended up stuck here? Um, not stuck here. Yeah, I guess that sounded worse than I meant it to say. <laughs> Yeah, it's a good city, man. Can't let a few bad apples on the street ruin us, you know? We're gonna pull through it. You're gonna be all right. Probably get a little staple or two in that head. We can't have your brain falling out. You're responding to 51 year old male, possibly intoxicated, sitting on the sidewalk because he's unconscious, white male wearing a blue and gray shirt and black pants. Mm -hmm. 39 gonna be on that side. Let's be in front of the Astor Crown Plaza. She can't be hard to find a man passed out on the ground. We receiving a call for a man down on Canal Street vomiting. One in a million. You know what's funny? A lot of things go to our head because it's always different. Just to be a man from sleeping to a man that's not breathing. So you, we really don't know what to expect until we pull up. We're in there. I think he's right here. <laughs> Hello. How are y'all? Could be better. Could be better, huh? What's going on? Um, it's much strange. Uh-oh. Who is this to you, baby? I'm What's his name? Michael. Mr. Hey, Mr. Michael. Michael. How you feel? Are you all right? Hey, just gave us a Hey, look. Up. Me and he's going to get on one side, and I'm going to get on the other. We're going to use your legs and get you on this stretcher, right, brother? Titus and I are dispatched to a man down on Canal Street that's vomiting. So there's a strong smell of alcohol, and it just looks like he's had a little too much to drink. On three, Mike. One, two, three. Uh, there we go, brother. But uh, he's pleasant. But we kind of want to keep it that way, so we try to form a, a rapport with him and kind of make friends for the moment. But we still want to assess him for injury before we move him and get him to the truck and make sure that there's nothing else going on. You good? You hurting anyway, bud? Nah, just had a little too much. You about to throw it right now? We're going to be with you, but you got to let us know before you go, all right? Up, oh, up, oh, oh. hold up, hold up. <laughs> all right, Mr. Mike, get it all out. He vomits pretty violently. I mean, it's like something off of the Exorcist movie. It's projectile. He gets some distance on it. So we immediately drop the stretcher. He's leaning off the side of the stretcher. We lower the stretcher where he doesn't flip the stretcher over and cause himself further injury. Got it? I'm a paramedic. I see vomit all the time. If I get it on me this time, it won't be the first or last time. So it's something I'm kind of used to at this point. We're going to give you some medicine to help you with that nausea, right, brother? Let me see this on for one moment. We're going to check y'all. Are you hurting anywhere? No, just nausea? Let us know. Hold on to that. You get me? I don't think so. All right, let me get you. Almost got me, Mr. Mike. My man good at that, look. This is something they don't teach you in, in school. If you were a patient that's been drinking a little bit too much, they'll talk to you, then they give you that stare. And my man locked eyes with me, and we got that stare. I just know I had to, you know, step two feet to the side. How you feel since you threw up? I feel like crap. All right, we're gonna, I'm going to give you some fluids, too, all right? My man threw everything out. I just seen the red beans, the, the shrimp. To a to fade. What you been drinking, man? You got them hurricane? Nah, Sambuca got you. Sambuca got you. That Sambuca got you. Well, you know what? You got me, man. I don't think I ever had Bambuca. I don't think I ever had oh, that either. Oh, my God. It's awful. Mike, that's your drink? I, I don't know if I want it now. Uh. My man had a good time on Canal Street. But a little bit too much Sambuca. Y'all ready? Yeah, we ready. He got me, but I know he didn't try to do it on purpose, so that goes a long way, too. Let's take a wipe and wipe it off. I'm a paramedic. That's what we do. Yeah. We going to the hospital, Mr. Mike. Mr. Mike. Yeah. He said he can't remember what happened. Mr. Zambuca himself. <laughs> what the <laughs> f <laughs> You know Zambuca? <laughs> oh, Zambuca. What the f 
you tell him? <laughs> I didn't say that, that was your bartender. He was the one feeding you the drinks. Yeah, you, don't, you, don't, you don't remember me? You don't remember him? Yeah. It's not a complete New Orleans trip until you get to visit the ER, man. We're going to St. Louis and Bourbon for a 25-year-old male hit in the head, bleeding. What happened? I don't know if I like that. OK. Did anybody see what happened? I just want to look and see where you're bleeding from, OK? Yeah, you can look. Oh, that's all good. Oh, you got a teeny, tiny little cut in your head. Yeah. That's it. Come this way. You all right? Have a seat right here for me. I'm just going to clean you up, clean your face off and everything. He's got an abrasion here. He's got yeah. the tiny cut there, little cut in the brow, no stitches, and then, like, a superficial scratch on the face. Oh. So what did you get hit with? I don't really know, to be honest. Where are you from, bro? He's from England. From England? Uh-huh. <laughs> what city are you in right now? Sure. Okay, you understand that we're not kidding, and if you're serious about this, we have to take you to the hospital. You can't tell us where you're at right now. we got to take you to the hospital. Seriously. We can't have you wandering around not knowing where you are or where you're going to go. You know what year it is? Do you know who the president is? Oh, yeah, that's true. I'm sorry. Just kidding. You don't even answer that. <laughs> um, you were in New Orleans. This is New Orleans. Yes, so you're in New Orleans. This is Bourbon Street. Seriously? Yeah. I'm in New Orleans. You're in New Orleans. You bull me. No, seriously. Yes. Look, New Orleans, you're in New Orleans Louisiana, on, on Bourbon, Bourbon Street. Street. We're in New Orleans. Yes. Yeah. How the f*** am I being transported across the Atlantic? <laughs> <laughs> we didn't bring you. It's kind of like, are you are you joking with us here? Like, are you playing? I mean, if he really is this confused, whether it be from alcohol, drugs, or some actual medical emergency, he's got to go to the hospital. Have you ever woke up on another continent before? Actually, it's the second time. Second, the second time? What was the first time? Africa. Africa. Was Africa that recently? From London. Uh, like four years ago. That's one hell of a sleepwalking episode, for sure, if that'd be the case. Sure, of course. You really don't seem drunk at all. No. So, um, look, what we're going to do is we're going to take you up to a hospital where you can be safe until you can figure out what's up. And once you figure out what's up, you'll be able to leave. Yeah. Cool? Yep. All right, bro. Real. E-T-O-H in 20. we're around. PD on scene with a man assault. It's in the quarter, so. You know, the funny thing is that if we take everybody that's been drinking in the quarter, first quarter will be empty. Only in New Orleans. Right. <laughs> See the lights of the NOPD. Somebody going to jail. What's wrong with this dude? Uh, the guy over there, drunk, liberated. Uh, he hit this guy, tried to run, failed, hurt himself. All right. What's up, my man? He had a big cut on his head. He needed to go to the hospital, and that's all I cared about. I know I f***ed up. I didn't care about the story or how he ended up sitting on the sidewalk in handcuffs with a gash to his head. I had him put your cuffs in the front so you could be more comfortable. Oh, my god, my nose is bleeding. Your whole face is bleeding, brother. Why? I don't know. Imagine because your face hit the sidewalk. Because y'all made my face hit the sidewalk. Y'all? Dude, we didn't touch you. This dude is so drunk and belligerent that he actually thinks we're the cops. Yeah, look, I'm going to take your hat off and clean it up, all right? Yes, sir. All right. Did you fall? No, sir. I got into it with some paramedics, and that was it. No, no, I'm the paramedic you talked to from the, from the beginning. You ain't never got into it with me. We're cool. You hear me? Yes, sir. I'm listening. All right. I'm about to give you a summons to go up to the parent court. OK. It's imperative that you do appear in court. NOPD is questioning the patient and wants to see his ID. So since his hand is injured, I was just trying to help him get his wallet out of his pocket. You got anything that's going to hurt me? No, 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 sir. There's no knife. There's no gun. That's just money and a liar. You're stupid. Anytime you have somebody that's intoxicated, it's frustrating. And if, you know, that's your litmus test, I guess. I mean, your ability to stay cool and kind of handle those calls professionally is what, what's important. You don't punch me. You don't want to say you're going to punch me. I won't punch you. Huh? Then we're on the same page. Let's sign that. At first, he was not interested in cooperating with the police department. And finally, they did get him to sign the summons. Oh, my God. Oh, my God, dude, right now. Oh, that bump right there just kicked my ass. My back hurts so bad right now. All right. Well, we'll get you some medicine for it at the hospital. No, 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 no. Oh, my God, dude. Oh, my neck. What just happened? You ain't stupid, are you? No, I'm not. Me neither. Oh, my neck. Oh, my God. 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 Oh, my God
Man, what you doing that man back there? Yeah, gas driving, you people. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. There's one thing in this world I don't want to happen. What's up? Anything bad that would be. I appreciate it. Hey, you and me, we all right. It's real f***ed up right now, dude. I couldn't agree more. I'm actually a nurse as well as a paramedic. The great thing about being a paramedic, when we get someone that's drunk and combative, we only have to deal with them for a short amount of time. When I work as a nurse, I get that patient for a while. You guys are great guys, dude. Thirty Twins Hospital. You guys are great people. Listen, don't get upset. You guys are great guys. I don't, I don't know. I don't know that you. <laughs> This guy will definitely get a couple stitches in his head, but probably what he really needs is to go home, sleep it off, and call it a night. Oh, God, dude, my back hurts so bad. Ah, oh, my neck. Yeah, it's crazy how the dude went from being a jerk in the beginning to being less than sane in the middle, and right. then, like, sobbing and crying, you know, like a kid at the end of it. I almost seemed like he went through, the, what, the four stages of, uh, of grieving. Is it five or four stages? I don't know. I'm, you know, like you might be making that no, up. No, I'm not. Okay. Denial. Right. Bargaining. Then there's some anger. That he got anger, then right. acceptance. But yeah. anyway, I don't think it's anything like that. I think he just had a last <laughs> race. <laughs> Come on, man, let's go. Sure, chief, for a fall. I have a 70, 70 male. 75 year old guy fell. Possible rib fracture, I guess. I'm guessing this is it. Hey, sweetheart, what's going on? Yes. Okay. Hello. I look good, huh? Ooh, yeah. Goodness right. gracious. I look like huh? Yeah. He's got a huge swollen eye, and it's bruised and bleeding, and he has a laceration to it. So, I mean, he hit something hard. The guy was, was not young by any stretch. So, I mean, there's a lot of things that go into what we're concerned about for him. One is if he's on blood thinners, you know, how much is he bleeding and how much is he bleeding inside? Um, and what possible fractures could he have? He could be having fractures in his, his skull and around his eyes, face. So, I mean, he's he needs to be going to the hospital. Ugh. Man, I'm enough of this. Dude, you see that big old knot you got on your head? And then you got up and came home? I know young cats, man. They get a little cut and they want to call the ambulance. And look, you waited all the way to the end. Oh, life ain't nothing but a party that you die. Can you put your hands oh, down yeah, by your side for just a second? Yeah, sure. All right, I want to look at your chest when you breathe. Oh, I always break my ribs. Oh, you broke them before? Yeah, I'll put you down. <laughs> Take some deep breaths the best you can. Yeah. <gasps> when you have broken ribs, you have those jagged edges of ribs that could, you know, cut all your organs. It could, it could rip a lung. It could rip, like, a main artery. I mean, it's going up and down, and like that, it, it's like razors. It could be cutting anything. He's got the Elvis Presley haircut, him. Yeah. <laughs> Who, this guy right here? Yeah, he got them long sideburns. I ain't nothing but a hound dog, man. Hey, look. I don't blame you. There ain't nothing wrong with being a hound dog. Look, I'm going to give you a little oxygen. It's going to kind of help a little bit with the pain. Fumilache, man. Fumilache. You know what that is? You know what that is? That's a uh, weed. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have none of that on the truck. Damn, man. We're going to start a little IV over here. Big stick in your arm. One, two, three. I'm sorry to be so stupid, babe. No, you ain't stupid at all, man. You my favorite patient of the night. The guy was funny, man. He, for uh, for being seven years old, he was, he was a cool guy. Like, he was a guy I could see myself hanging out with. It's my favorite saying is this. Life ain't nothing but a party to get high. You know what? I believe wholeheartedly that you have lived by that. Ah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see how this works. There you go, Billy. Does it look real upon me? There you go. Well, Halloween's nuts, especially when you got Billy putting on mustaches. Hey, you guys. Yeah. Someone just cut their foot in the store, dude. Yeah? Yeah, right. like, they just cut their foot. All right, thank All right. you, buddy. It's not big. His toe is like, oh, he needs help. You didn't know you were leaking blood, kid? I mean, I didn't feel it at first. You're good, dude. Walk outside for us. Have a seat, brother. Yeah. It's got a little gas there on your left toe. Oh, I mean, it ain't good. You're bleeding everywhere. I don't know, man. You might need stitches. A lot of blood came out, for sure. 
Obviously, the gentleman needs some sutures to kind of close up this wound. How long did it happen? It just happened like a few days ago. OK. So yeah, I was just walking right over there, right? And then um, some guy like just commented and just bumped me into a motorcycle out of nowhere. All right. It's like, ah, oh, you know, I scratched myself. I thought it was a regular scratch, but then it turned into a huge gap. And I was like, oh, wait a minute, I'm drinking fluid. I didn't realize it's like on inside of there. Sure, you want me to get a wrap, Billy? Yeah, you guys, are, thanks again. <laughs> Oh, okay, so like, I'm walking, right, and then all of a sudden... He was walking down the road? Someone bumped Somebody me. Somebody ran over him with a motorcycle. No, no, it was... Almost even... tore his toe off. Yeah, like, they just bumped it's me into a motorcycle. I was like, He's going to need a lot of hugs after this. You, know, you need to be quiet. I'm trying to help you. I made a good story. I almost had you a date. I'm fine, I really... No, I'm helping you out, brother. Like, right, roll with it. Roll yeah, with it. All right, you're right. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Any stitches? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Then they have to go to hospital. Twelve hours. Twelve hours. Otherwise, they won't sew it. We're obviously we'll concerned it. for a risk of infection. It's imperative that he's seen within the allotted time frame. Careful walking on the rest of the night. Don't hit it again. You hit it again, it'll come off. Oh, for real? No, I'm just kidding. Oh. <laughs> Thank you guys for having me. No problem, brother. Have a good night, man. Be careful. We're going to what looks like a house party. Yeah, um, I don't like that. For a female having a seizure, a few things that stand out, it's a house party where there can possibly be drugs and alcohol, so you have to consider that, or the patient may actually have a history of seizures. I can't believe all these crowds. OK, with COVID, and you got to go home to your mama because none of y'all stay by yourself. <laughs> and y'all going and giving y'all mama and her brothers and sisters and all kind of people COVID, and that's not OK. Look at all these people. Here we go. We coming, boo. We coming, boo. Chill out. Damn. Okay. She, she's still unconscious. Where's she at, boo? She's upset. All right. There are so many unmasked patrons in this party. We make the immediate decision that we're going to go in, find our patient, and get her to the ambulance. We're going to initiate care. Fluid. <laughs> One, two, three. All right. Come on. Fly, grab the suction for me. All right. Does anybody know her? Fire, can you see who's with her and ask, does she have any medical history? Yeah, hold on. They said she took something, they don't know what. Now that we're in the ambulance and we don't see a medical alert tag, we can't confirm that the patient has a seizure history. We have to consider the other possibilities, being that we're at a house party. Was the patient exposed to too much alcohol or a drug? Throw an end title on or someone. She's breathing. Yeah. I'm going to cut this. I really yeah, hope she it. wasn't attached to it. Ma'am, hey, hey, ma'am. What did she take? I don't know what she took, but she did not. She's breathing. She's breathing. Can you get PD to come shut this down? For y'all safety, we need to get on out of here, all right? Can we get NOPD out here? Me and Danny are dispatched to approximately 20-year-old having a seizure at a house party. The crowd is getting out of hand. And OPD needs to come and shut it down now. We don't have time to explain to bystanders every little thing that needs to be done in this moment. We can't just pick up a patient and leave. You have to assess and you have to treat. If you want your friend to live, we need to treat her right now. One thirty six. I'm out of here. Blood pressure's one forty over eighty. Do you feel my fill on her head? Just make sure there's no trauma on her head. Yeah. Oh, really from back here. 
And just to confirm, when you went in with the suction, she did have some response to that with you? Yeah, and she's kind of intermittently <laughs> open her eyes. Yeah. Yeah. Like, All right. There is no overwhelming smell of alcohol on the patient, and she's not showing any signs of an opiate overdose. The patient possibly just had a seizure. I am two minutes away. All right. Over here. What's your name? We're about to go get lost on a Frenchman like we used to do. Lost on a Frenchman? Boy, don't threaten me with a good time. They dancing in the street up there? Yeah. Oh, look at them. They up there getting it. You going to walk up there or what? Oh, boy, that ain't good. Man, it's crazy how kind of dead it is over here. Man, remember, like, it used to be, like, all filled up and stuff, bro. And, like, now it's, like, dead. COVID's definitely changed the French Quarter. It's almost like a ghost town. But seeing dancing in the street, man, it's definitely refreshing, you know, that glimmer of hope that we need. You about to get in there? I bet you won't. I'm talking about you. Get you a little two-step pin, Jay. <laughs> Come on, baby. <dude. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's what they do. Hey, that's what they do, bro. Hey. Let me see. Get you up. Get you up. Ain't that what they do? Just fucking. <laughs> Just take off like that. <laughs> he was, son. I'm gonna fall and twist my ankle. <laughs> As a New Orleans, I miss, son. Huh? I know, me too. The people at New Orleans are very resilient. I feel like they can overcome anything that happens, whether it's hurricane, tornadoes, flooding. Pandemics, <laughs> you know. Seeing that the vaccine is becoming more available to people, we're going to get back, and we're going to come back strong. Go catch you some of that. Do the, uh, uh, the twerk. The, the twerk? You going to hit it with me? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Did you stand by? For the call? Alpha 3247, he has a white male. Stacy has abnormal breathing. He's still unconscious. I'm switching to PD. That's roll. We headed out to 6244. Well, it looked like it's at a bar, huh? Yeah, that's how I was looking at it. They say our crops is going to be Rampart and um, Burgundy or something. Why oh, don't call it Burgundy, Burgundy? What's wrong with you? Burgundy. 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 What is it? Oh. Well, we got a lot. 3247 on scene. Hey, Jack. Hey, what's up, babe? So this wonderful man is from Nebraska. Uh-huh. He's a little too intoxicated. He came into this bar and he fell out. They called 911. He's too intoxicated to refuse. OK. Uh, you want to give him a hand? He may fall. I'll refuse medical treatment right now. The patient is real hesitant about going to the hospital with us. He really doesn't want to go, but he might have had a significant fall and might have a possible head injury. So it's best that he does go, even if he really doesn't want to go. Unfortunately, we can't, brother. Have a You're seat. too intoxicated right Come now. Come on, so Nick. We've, been, we've been doing good this whole time. Yeah. Have a seat for me. No, but I don't need to go nowhere. You do. I'm taking my ass back to my hotel. Come on, my man. Have, have, a, seat. have a seat, buddy. Hey, Petey. Yeah, just relax. Calm your nerve a little bit. We got you, all right? Hey, worry about it. Heart rate 98. It's all good coming to the city of New Orleans and having some drinks, but when you're so intoxicated to where you begin to fall and potentially become a danger to yourself, that's when we step in. We have to be that advocate for that patient. I fell up because I was drinking with my friends. You right. Know, just having fun. And be like that sometimes. You forget where you're trying to take a nap at. Yeah, I was just doing do what I do. I got you, man. So let me make sure you ain't eat the pavement or nothing like that. I'm trying to be friends with my homeboy. Yeah, you ain't hurting no one, huh, bro? You good? Yeah, I'm good right now. You gonna remember uh, 32 Soul Patrol. We got you. Yeah, I'm gonna write a note to the city. This is GQ. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm talking about. Hey, bro, you might be drunk, but your eyesight just fine. <laughs> I can tell before we picked up this patient, he was having a good time, enjoying himself. But now that we have to take him to the hospital, I want to do my best to just try and be his friend. Even though he's not drinking, you know, enjoying himself, he can talk to me, we can joke, we can laugh. We can have a good time on the way to the hospital. 
So we gotta take you to the hospital just for a little bit, just so you can sober up. I was trying to have fun, bro. I know. That's all I'm trying to do. I wish I could have fun like you right now, but I'm at work. Well, yeah, I take my ass to work too. That's why I take my ass to vacation. Is it uh, your first time coming down to New Orleans? Yeah. All right, Nick. We had now a few bumps on the way. I apologize. Be cool, all right? I always be cool. Am I not be cool? Yeah, that's just how we are down here, my man. <laughs> what made you want to come? Just come hang out, or? I was born and raised in Nebraska, and I ain't seen nothing different. I hear that. How you liking it down here so far? It's good. Until I end up in the back of England, I wasn't trying to create problems for nobody. Did I create problems for you? No, you've been nothing but pleasant with me. Yeah. Look, Nick, you probably just got a little too live uh, at the bar. That's all, man. They just yeah, want you to get checked what? out. I'm just trying to have fun. I, I can't be know. mad with that. Give me something, bro. I, I can't be mad at that. He's driving like he stole something, huh? Yeah. I say it's on the court. <laughs> I'm going to tell him that. Coming to y'all with a 34-year-old male, chief complaint, intoxication, the all facility in about five minutes. Yo, have a hard ass job. Yeah, that I respect be... you to the fullest. I appreciate that, man. It's a blessing. We have a call that came in, a uh, male that's possibly intoxicated, that fell, hit his head really hard, according to the witness. That's all the information we have. So I'm gonna have a little over there just in case it's a little more serious. 6220 in the area. Oh, 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 that's him. I get on scene and I notice that there is an elderly man just kind of stumbling around and he does not have any idea that I'm there. Hey! Hey, 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 hey! 29. Hey! Oh, you're gonna fall! Yeah, uh, that fell already. I know, you fell already. Your shoes are all untied and everything. How uh, much you had to drink tonight? Uh, one bottle. A bottle? Uh, uh, this long of stove. <laughs> All right. So where where do you live at? You're down to the where? I'm too blacked out. It's pretty common in intoxicated people. They think they're perfectly okay. They have no idea that they are slurring like someone that just had a stroke, and that they're walking like they're on a ship in the middle of a hurricane. I know. No, because you you already oh, fell oh, once. Yeah. I know my sister. I thought that was not completely We can't let you go. You're gonna fall and, and really hurt yourself. No. Well, With fire. Can you yeah, stop? I, good I know. Plus, you drink a whole bottle. I was just, just small bottle. <laughs> it was a, it was still too much. Yeah, but, well, you can't stand up unless uh, I'm holding you. Double thirty two twenty nine. Yeah. Uh-huh. I, I, you know, I was on the trip, I didn't trip. But I, I do do good. No. I do good. Let us get you up to the hospital. But look, I got my guys coming. Yo, do, do that. Can you sit down for me, and we're going to wait for my guys to come? Just sit down. I got you. All right. Can you just sit on the ground? No. Nah. I the ground. Where you want to sit on the yeah. curb? All right, let's sit you on the curb. Yeah. I've already dealt with a really combative, not so nice, intoxicated guy earlier tonight. Luckily, he is a really nice guy. I got you. See, if I wasn't holding on to you, you couldn't walk. I'm just saying. I'm uh, making home. You, you don't know this, you, this, you this, were not going to make it home. No, I ain't going to with you. All right, just sit down for me. We'll get you back up. You ever had a heart attack? No, not yet. No. How old are you? I'm just five years old. 55? 65. 65? sir, we don't have a 32 Yeah, I don't feel anything on the back of his head. He was walking or attempting to walk. Yeah, one bottle, he said. He had one bottle, that's it. One bottle, that's it. All right, now that I made you sit down, and we're going to help you up and get you on the stretch. I'm going to get your stuff by you. Let, let's get you up. I'll get your stuff by you. Sometimes when you're dealing with people that are intoxicated, in order to appease them, you kind of bargain with them. Like, get out. 
Ah, you got the good stuff. No, ain't no good stuff. I can't let him just walk off down the street. I have to do what's in his best interest. I'm just gonna check your blood sugar. Now you got a new mask. I need some blood out that finger. Take too much. There we go. No, no, no. It's 104, baby. 104. Be good people. Get home, huh? Yes, sir. They'll get you home. You live by yourself, or you got somebody at the house? I'm on Okay. They'll get you home. All right. Good luck to you. I'm glad I caught you before you fell and busted your head for real. All right, guys. Thanks. <laughs> Copy and route. We get a call for a man down, which is usually someone that's intoxicated for us. Hey, man. Hey. Wake up. I need you to wake up. Yeah. Huh? Can you sit up? No. All right, we're going to take you to the hospital. I noticed that he had this big gash on his head, man. This guy is so drunk, he probably fell down. This dude is out. Yeah. I mean, out. This guy taking a fall, man, so we have to get him to the hospital just to make sure everything's OK. Keep your head down. Oh, How you think? <laughs> Lean him over. You good? Yeah. All right. Alcohol. alcohol is very toxic. When you drink so much of it, your body wants to kick it out. Hey, look, my man. You was drinking tonight, John? Yeah, damn right I was. How much you drunk tonight, my man? I was two fifths. You drunk two, two fifths? fifths? That's all. That's all? That'll yeah. take down a whole battalion. What you mean, uh, that's all? Two fifths of rum? Oh, first. Two fifths of rum? What the f you talking about? Bourbon, motherfucker. Yeah, bourbon. bourbon. All right, what's you the drink real alcohol, not that yeah, water. Right. right. Oh, wow. We're in a helicopter. Do you feel like you're in a helicopter? Don't piss at my post or my breath and please, or I will get violated. No, you won't. You the man. Oh, my God. Oh, you mother Do not touch me like that again. Are we clear? I did not mean to touch All right. Hey, what, he hey. grab your ass or something? I didn't want to piss you off. I don't want to upset you. Give me tell you something. Tell me. You're one hell of a man. But thank you. You just got to be thank careful you. throwing in punches back here, man. Go thank ahead, Tyus. We all right? We OK, bro. And one thing uh, people don't know about Dan, you know, he's cool as he want to be, but you know, don't hit him. Big Joe. Big Joe, you smacking my partner? Then what did he do to you? Job slap. He Punched me in the stomach. Dad took it like a man. You know, even though he was upset, you know that was still a patient. So he, you know, he had to be professional about it. He's one of those irritating drunks. Like he can't just be drunk and, and just and just be, be cool, chill about huh? It. The man evidently got some type of problems for him to drink two fifths. You ain't never I done two fifths in one night. I drank two fifths in a night. We're gonna have problems, dog. Be running down the street naked, proposing to every uh, woman I see, dude. <laughs> <laughs>